I'm James Heaney, and this is a Brief News Brief special report about the beach controversy that's been boiling over in the past few weeks. Now, you may not realize it, but we produce our news show just two blocks from the beach. We could basically be called Beach News Beach, but we're not. We're called Brief News Brief, but you get it, right? Beach News Brief. It's got a ring to it, too. It seems to be as of late, the beach has been hijacked as a political football. It's gotten wildly out of control, and it's about time that we cleared up a few things. So we here in America are having a national conversation about when and how to open things up, including beaches. We'll be having many of these conversations in the coming days and weeks and months, and maybe, hopefully not, but years. When to open parks, restaurants, schools, movie theaters, all of it. Yet beaches have become a very hot topic. Last week, beaches escalated to the front of the media storm as the political divisiveness hit a fever pitch. Beaches closed. No swimming. Over the weekend, raucous protests erupted around California, demanding the Governor Newsom's stay-at-home order be lifted. In Huntington Beach, people crowded together to protest beach closures and demanded that stay-at-home orders be lifted. Another organized protest took place Saturday in Laguna Beach. Today, less than a week after Gavin Newsom ordered the closure of all Orange County beaches, state officials announced that three beach cities will be permitted to reopen their stretches of coastline. There's one big caveat. It's for active recreation only. No sunbathing allowed. If you want a tan, you're going to get it sprayed like Trump, okay? Piers are still closed. Parking lots are still closed. Now, Florida began to move to reopen its beaches just over the past weekend. Yet yesterday, only days later, the city of Miami Beach said that it was closing South Point Park because people weren't wearing face masks. They weren't wearing their coverings. I'm pleased and happy to repeat the news. It's a beautiful day. The beaches are open and people are having a wonderful time. The Miami Beach Police Department reported that its park rangers gave 7,329 verbal warnings from Friday through Sunday, which is a lot. It sounds like a lot. I would have liked to heard how many written warnings there were because you can shout a lot of verbal warnings. Like if there's a group of 10 people is, hey, you put the mask on. Is that 10 verbal warnings or do you have to give each one? Hey, you, 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 you put your mask on. I'm not sure. But nonetheless, nobody listened to the orders, the verbal warnings, and they had to close down the beach. Governor DeSantis and other Florida officials defended the reopening of beaches, saying that Floridians use beaches like parks for exercise. Now, DeSantis says that he doesn't see the point in strict enforcement, especially as Floridians are cooped up with the quarantine measures in place. He said during a news conference briefing in April, I got a kick out of seeing somebody jogging on the beach in California, like all by his lonesome, and have a fleet of cops go out there. He's just jogging. Going forward, I think we've got to be promoting people to get exercise. Beach is closed. No swimming. Really, Governor DeSantis? Where have you seen this jogger you describe in California swarming with cops around him that you get such a kick out of? Because it seems to me that you're just making this shit up while some Orange County residents put themselves through life-threatening protests and late-night emergency meetings and lawsuits to sue Governor Newsom to exercise on the beach. We can report from the view here in Los Angeles that this whole escapade seems to be one giant manipulative political spin campaign. I've walked my dog out on Venice Beach almost every day of the quarantine. At this point, surfing is still restricted here, yes. So that might be a caveat to the recent Orange County reopening. But exercise? This was never outlawed at any point in time in Los Angeles beaches. This is a falsehood, a sham. People who live in the area near the beaches have been walking, exercising in the area, just like they would any other time. Now, does that mean that every Los Angelino should book it down to the beach to work out? No. Go running and exercising in your own neighborhood. If you can't run to the beach, then don't run at the beach. You shouldn't drive to, say, the Pacific Palisades to find some hiking trails because right now those hiking trails are closed to the public. But if you live on those hiking trails, then yeah, take a walk on those hiking trails. It's your neighborhood. I'm pleased and happy to repeat the news. It's a beautiful day. The beaches are open and people are having a wonderful time.
Several of the protesters at Huntington Beach protest that talked to the press admitted that they drove 90 minutes in quarantine traffic. So maybe it was even further than you'd think, because in L.A., 90 minutes can be, you know, only a few miles. But this is quarantine traffic, and they drove 90 miles. They came from all over Southern California, because who cares? Let's drive to Orange County and have a Trump rally at the beach. We'll probably get on the TV. Well, if they wanted media attention, they certainly got it. Who's organizing all of this? Who is tweeting these viral beach pictures and getting the bots to retweet them? Who is is organizing and financing this PR stunt. It's all a lie. It's a warped publicity photo, a homespun narrative to rile up anyone who wants a reason to be up in arms about something. There is a law in California that declares access to the beach as a fundamental right, but that's in regular times, not in the post-pandemic world. Whether Americans want to hear it or not, we are losing some unalienable rights because of science. We are losing rights because of the unprecedented circumstances that every one of us finds ourselves in. This is a national health crisis, and we're making a lot of sacrifices. Some are making more than others, like risking their lives. Do you think that anyone in lockdown wants to be in lockdown? Do you think Americans want to wear masks? No. No one wants to wear a mask or do any of these things. So why are some compelled to go outside and make a spectacle of it and others are not? I'm pleased and happy to repeat the news. It's a beautiful day. Beach is closed. And people are having a wonderful time. No swimming. It's not a good time to plan a family trip to the beach. It's not a good time to congregate with your friends and do a beach day. And it's hard to know when it will be a good idea to do those things. Yes, there is a police presence at the beach. Cop cars are driving around and will politely ask that you keep moving. So keep moving. And keep tuning into the Beach News Beach with James Haney. Tell me the news.